All right, today I'm here at North Huron River Drive here in Rockwood, Michigan. Uh, we're here along the Norfolk Southern Detroit line, and we have yet another uh, classic Norfolk Southern uh, crossing setup. So I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a tour of this crossing. This is again, this is right on the corner of Huron River Drive, North Huron River Drive, and Old Ford Ro Fort Road. And we're going to get started with this signal right here. Again, this is the Norfolk Southern Detroit line, and this is Main One, so the southbound line. Here's your first signal here. This has a Premier Products cantilever. And the emergency information is right here. The dot number is 511659D. And this signal has a total of six pairs of SafeTran 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights, all sitting on SafeTran light brackets. And this signal has a dead WC Hayes mechanical bell sitting up there. I've heard this crossing in action before and unfortunately the bell did not ring. And then the gate has a Harman base, and then it's a WC Hayes gate mechanism. The gate has Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard. Here's a look at the back of the signal right here. You can see those safe trend uh, light brackets up there on the cantilever. Here's your bell again, and then the main lights. We might have a southbound coming because that block signal there is red, but I'm not too sure. All right, let's go ahead and cross the street and hit these other two signals. All right, then here is the second signal. This signal has a SafeTran base with a SafeTran gate mechanism. And we have just one pair of SafeTran 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights with a SafeTran light bracket. This e-bell is also dead. It's a general signals e-bell. And then we have some Modern Industries uh, incandescent gate lights. I hope you guys can hear me because it's a busy road. Modern Industries incandescent gate lights. So that this is the two, uh, I think, well, yeah, the west signals, and this is the one east east side signal. And again, there's that red signal. I'm not sure if we have a train coming or not, um, but we also do have a Norfolk Southern defect detector right over there. It's at mile post uh, 22.3, I think. All right, and now the last signal. It says another, well, this says safe train, which is making me think the other one's a safe train as well. I'm not too good with my cantilevers. Um, either a safe train or a Premier Products cantilever. And there's the dot number once again. And then this signal has a total of seven pairs of safe train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights, all with safe train light brackets. It's like uh, that set of cantilever lights has their own independent ones because they're on those uh, extender arms. And those are just on one. I can't get too close to the road, otherwise I would show you the side lights. And then for the gate, this side also has a Harman base and a WC Hayes uh, gate mechanism. And this side has Rico incandescent gate lights and a wind guard. And then that is a General Signals Type 3 electronic bell. That's the one bell that works at this crossing is that one. And it's a Type 3. And we'll get you a quick, quick look down the track. This is looking north towards um, like Trenton and Wyandotte um, and heading back towards the uh, quad track crossings. And this is looking south and the next crossing down is south here on River Drive. You can also see a uh, trestle bridge right there. You can kind of see the uh, the gated signal for uh, South Yarn River Drive. And then over there is the relay case. And one more thing I want to point out is um, this uh, the traffic lights here at this intersection are actually connected to the railroad crossing. For when it's activated, these uh, boxes here, these LED boxes light up. And the, the middle ones, I believe, say train. And then this one probably says, like, no right turn or something. Then... Uh, the lights facing this way, so when we're looking at right, right now, it goes to red, I believe. And then the cross street, so Fort Road, has a blinking yellow. That's when there's a train going through. And then as soon as the uh, gates pick up, the flashing yellow goes to a solid yellow, then goes to red, and then the uh, Huron River Drive gets the green. And then one last thing I forgot to mention, the one bell that works here, it does shut off when the, uh, the gates pick up. All right, so that's gonna about do it here from the North Huron River Drive crossing here in Rockwood, Michigan.
on the Norfolk Southern Detroit line. Thank you guys for watching.